don't tell me that it's too late for me to love you. How perfect we were meant to be. Our warm inside the symmetry. It's times like these when This is like someone, somebody comes and sits in your front room and plays the piano and sings. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like a living room here, or it's like actually like an outdoor it's, courtyard it's, in it's here. It's yeah. modelled on my own, you know. Yeah, it's Except amazing. It's slightly smaller. Well, you, <laughs> I must say, though, you and your team here are, are quite, quite excellent. I, I came here today, and I was the absent-minded professor today. I forgot uh, my shoes. Um, and, uh, yes, these, are, these, are from, these are from your prop department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, aren't they nice? These are great. Yeah, uh, they were kind enough to say, yeah, well, we'll find you some shoes. And they found me shoes. Did they tell you how much they charge? No. <laughs> no. I'll break it to you later. Okay, you'll see that Do you camera. play for your own pleasure at home? Do you sit down and do that at home for fun? Um, I do, yeah. I mean, I think that for me, playing the piano has always been really um, therapeutic. I mean, I've never been the kind of person that's um, written in a journal or... You know, I don't like to get on the phone and yap to my friends for, you know, hours and hours. So, f when I'm feeling a certain way, I, you know, I get to the piano and that's kind of like my journal to get, to get it out. Yeah. And finding a lyric later is hard, but the melodies always tend to come. Which came first, the, the, the singing or the acting? Uh, the acting came first, actually. Yeah. I, was in, I was in high school um, that was very, very similar, less, less dramatic than, than on Glee. Um, I went to an arts... <laughs> Relief. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, but it was an arts high school. It was a high school for the performing arts in Los Angeles. And I was studying to be an actor, and, and voice was something that I was doing kind of on the side as a way to be a, a more well-rounded actor, and it turned out I was, um, it was just something that took over my mm -hmm. life, which I'm, I'm thrilled at. But, um, How did you... I mean, it was, presumably it was sort of the normal sort of audition challenge then, was it? You ended up with a part in Ali McBeal, I yeah. mean, which, is, which be such, became such a cult over here. Yeah, absolutely. Hugely yeah, popular. People still come up to me about that. And, um, and that was kind of a serendipitous um, turn of events. I mean, I was singing at an event, and uh, Callista Flockhart and, and David E. Kelly, the creator, they were all there. And they said, oh, we want you to be, you know, the wedding singer on this episode. It was going to be Robert Downey Jr. and Calista Flockhart getting married. Um, Robert Downey Jr. couldn't then show up to set for personal reasons and, uh, at the time. And, uh, and they sent a script over with this whole acting part. And I was, I was shocked and terrified. And, um, <laughs> and they were all very nice to me. And it, 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 yeah, it came full circle. You seem to have used your word serendipitous, serendipitously, all kinds of things like standing in for Andrea Bocelli at a rehearsal, which kind of leads to other things. Yeah. You're clearly... An opportunist. You take opportunities <laughs> as they come rather than saying, oh, I can't do that. Well, I think that luck is, you know, preparation meets opportunity. And I think that I've been very lucky, certainly, with the people that I've had in my life that have been kind enough to give me the opportunities so that I could walk through the door. But then you still got to, you know, walk through it mm -hmm. and, and take it. But no, I mean, having been doing this for 10 years now, when I look back at all the little kind of points of light that had to happen for it to be where it is now, 
Um, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very, very fortunate, very grateful. Ambitions, I mean, do you see yourself, does it depend on whether the acting roles come or the singing opportunities come as to which avenue you explore more? I, I think would that... you really like